All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We are back at it in quick succession with FSD 13.2.6 coming from 13.2.5. And we're going to take it out for a quick spin, specifically targeting our speed bumps. Everything else was phenomenal with 13.2.5. Um, people had issues with lane selection. We didn't really have any issue with lane selection. Um, it was pretty great all around, but the speed bumps were an issue, specifically the ones that we go over. So we're going to make two passes over the speed bumps, one going forward, one going backwards, and see how it fares. We'll do that right now. Good job pulling off from the shoulder. Hopefully no major regressions here. We're not going to do the regression test path just because it's so quick. I don't think anything has really changed. Um, if we have some time, we'll do it at the end, but likely we won't just to keep out the redundancy of everything. Hopefully it performs exactly the same way. And however it performs on the way to the speed bumps can also give us an indicator of what's similar versus what's different. Put my cameras up here. Uh, people ask why I put my cameras up. I want to be able to see the proximity uh, of the car to things, the wheels, to curbs, to, to other objects there, just to be able to get a sense of proximity. We don't longer get the sort of arcs there that we used to get with uh, Hardware 3. So it's important to be able to see how close the car is to things. This is a Model S. Um, we don't have the option to put the visualization on the screen, so the visualization is right here. So we can't put the visualization there. So that's why we have the cameras up for those asking in the comments. Steep turn, hard visibility left and right here. Comes to a complete stop, creeps up for visibility. It's really steep, so it needs a lot of torque. And it's got to creep out a little bit. It's good to go, it can go. Nice and smooth. Good job. Lost a little traction there, but it's all, that's what usually happens when it's wet or slippery. Turn signal here, which is new behavior. Not the wrong thing to do, but obviously something different from version to version. Um, which makes me think about doing our winding road as part of our regression test path to see if it puts the turn signal on there. Hopefully it doesn't. Let's hope the road is not blocked this time. See what happens. And then I'll take it on the highway. I'm in hurry mode. All the details are in the description, but I'm in hurry mode. Again, no issue with lane selection or making unnecessary maneuvers. It, it does do that on hardware three. 12.6 on hurry mode does make odd lane selections, odd maneuvers that are unnecessary. I have not experienced that with, with version 13. So here we go. Coming up to our first of five speed bumps. Other cars are in the way to give it some context. No more snow on the ground, no more salt. It's wet, now raining. This one's marked nicely, slows down nicely. See that? Good job. The next one is also marked nicely. And it's not as big as the first one. Slows down nicely here. Excellent job. Third one also very well marked. There's no sun, no shadows today because it's rainy and cloudy, so it should be a piece of cake. Good one for number three. Number four, partially mislabeled here. It was worn out there with the lit, with the uh, signage. Last one is definitely half of it is off. It's paved over. But look at that. Look at that. FSD team for the win. Great job. Great job, uh, so it did it. I'm going to end this so I can go back around the opposite way and see if it's not a fluke. Great job, great turnaround time. This was a quick rebound and it could be potential edge case, could be just to us. A lot of people on the West Coast seem to see that speed bumps are okay and I'm okay with that. If they're saying that, it's great that it's working there, but here is a little bit different and I want to make sure that uh, it's, it's doing the right thing. So great job for one, being able to do that finally on version 13. So that's great. I'll just loop back around, see if I can do it. Uh, it probably won't let me do it itself. I have to kind of go all the way around. Bear with me, I'll fast forward past this. All right, here we go, <clears throat> going up the hill. Gonna go the opposite way, see if it was a fluke or if it's legit. 
because the opposite way is the way we went the last time because the road was blocked off. So let's see. Really exciting stuff that uh, FSD team can handle this type of turnaround so quickly, which is great. I'm gonna jinx it. Full stop here. Clear on the left. We can go. Get my cameras up. Good distance from the curb. Here we go. Speed bump number one. Opposite direction. Well marked, well lit. No salt, no shadow occlusion. Number two, well marked. Good job. Excellent job. Slowing down significantly more as well. Usually did 15 miles an hour. Now it's coming down to like 10, which is great. Great, great, great. Two more to go. All well marked. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Last one with cones. See what we do. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go, FSD team. Tesla AI for the win. Awesome job. Awesome job. All right, so we're good. I think we're good. I think that's a good um, use case to test for pl places with speed bumps like that, marked like that. Not everywhere, but they are there. And I think that's a great turnaround time for the FSD team to be able to make that happen and fix that very quickly. So great job. Great job, guys. Great job, team. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Let's let it continue through the regression test path so we can test some other things, proximity to curbs, turning, things like that, just to see what it all does. But I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. This is awesome now. Let's uh, have a quick chat about our uh, lovely earnings call and some of the things that came before that uh, with the sort of unsupervised full self driving in the Tesla lot going from the end of the factory line to the staging area. That was pretty cool. Good to see that in action. And also the confirmation that there's camera calibration. Look at that adjustment for that snow. Great job camera calibration happens on the factory line, which is great. So as it's moving through the line, cameras are being calibrated. So when it gets off the line it has camera calibration complete and can actually maneuver using unsupervised full self driving. Now, me personally, I don't think that that's technically unsupervised full self driving. It's more like advanced summon just because it's in a controlled lot. It's not like dealing with other, you know, the real world, but I'll take it. It's, I'll take it as a, as a first step and then expand it to, to larger regions. But yeah, it did, did pretty good in that, in that demonstration. Uh, and then lastly, obviously, the bigger issue is the Hardware 3, the fate of Hardware 3 finally revealed in a very, very cringe way. I don't even know what to say about that one. You hear the head of the AI team saying, hey, we haven't abandoned Hardware 3. We're still working on it. We've still got version 12, which is the, the version 13 light or maybe version 13. And then you got <laughs> your boy, coming in there just saying, hey, let's be honest, let's just tell the truth. That's the honest truth. I'm like, well, you should always be telling the honest truth. So that's not great to follow him up with that. You should have cut him off and stopped him or at least handled it a little better. Go ahead, guy. Handle it a little better coming up on the heels of what he just said. That was just odd. So he's basically saying, you know, we got to replace the computers. Now, he didn't say what he's going to replace them with. I don't think they can do a full swap of the hardware for uh, computer. I think it might be something like a 3.5, similar to how they had for hardware two, and then there was a 2.5 hardware that was that, that came after that. So this might be hardware 3.5 or something else to get them to the, to the extra compute necessary to be able to handle the larger models. He said the cameras seem to be fine, but we'll see. So that was very, very interesting. But for those who are wondering or on the fence, now we know, we understand exactly what um, Hardware 3's limitations are and what will be necessary to get it to where it needs to be. Now, I don't know if that means we have to replace the computer, they have to replace the computer to run version 13, or if you need to replace the computer to run unsupervised. I think it's gonna be unsupervised. I think they could still get to 
version 13 and the method that they're using right now to increment up. But again, we'll see. We'll see what they do. And so to that point, I feel like Tesla would be it would be beneficial to Tesla good job going here where it's just one way stop to maybe offer supervised versus unsupervised as an option that might be more enticing where you know if if hardware 3 can only achieve supervised then that's an option for people with hardware 3 and we upgrade based on that if it requires an upgrade to get to unsupervised, you know, then they make the upgrade. But definitely, um, supervised is still very useful. And this, what we're currently doing right now is very useful. I think there's some value still there. But let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments, what you thought about the call and what you thought about how, uh, you know, your guy handled that, that conversation around, uh, <laughs> around Hardware 3 and coming on the back of what was already said in relation to Hardware 3. Got to make this left turn. It's not going to encroach on the yellow, which is great, great behavior. And then it's going to stay that lane properly. I'll do a highway drive after this just to prove to you guys what I'm seeing here on the Northeast about lane selection, where it's not even an issue. Um, I can say that this is the lane selection. This is the street where lane selection gets a little bit weird because we see it go in that right lane unnecessarily. Now it should be going in the right lane because all the cars are piled up, but typically it will go in the right lane in the last build in a, in a very odd manner when all, almost no cars were here. Let's see what happens when it goes now. Is it going to go around? It's going to go around now because cars are here. Putting on the signal just to kind of follow what that car is doing, but ultimately it, it diverts back. So it looks like there might be, I have to try again, but there might be some fix here for whatever that deviation was. But in large part, I've not been seeing any odd lane selection or unnecessary maneuvers for lane selection in version 13. Overall, just overall. Maybe some instances here and there, but overall, I've not largely seen it. But yeah, very uh, interesting times we're in right now. Um, if If that's an indicator of what's to come. We're, we're sort of on the precipice of a major breakthrough. Um, I wouldn't say it's, autonomy is solved. I would say it's trending in the right direction on the way to being solved. And Tesla's in a great place to be able to solve it. Little hesitation here because it's unsure what these cars are doing. They've got their signals on. But this is, this is a, great, a great time to be around to see this and uh, looking forward to seeing more of what we can do here. Now it's raining here, it's operating, it's not giving me poor weather. Light drizzle right now, but still raining off and on. But so far so good, this has been great. So it's, it seems as though, just from this first drive, that this 13.2.6 has fixed some of the issues, majorly, majorly the speed bump issue that I have with 13.2.5, uh, making this really, really top tier in terms of um, supervised FSD. Really good. I'm not gonna jinx it, but it has to get around this truck, make this final turn, go on the train tracks nicely. Can turn on red, no cars ahead of it. Let's see what it decides to do. Stage is the lane. Um, one thing that the car does better than a human, and this is just the way it's laid out, is that the automatic, we have auto canceling on the uh, turn signals. So when you actually make the proper maneuver, the turn signals will turn off. So if I wanted to make this left turn and I even turned a little bit to the left side, it will deem that maneuver complete and not turn the left turn signal off. So the fact that the car can keep that on or when you do a sort of a left and a quick right and have to do the turn signal swap, it does that way better than people can do it because there's a little bit of a delay when you do it manually. Consistent behavior. What is it going to do? Pull out in front or go down the street? Turn signal should come on right about now. Going to pull out in front. I'll take it. Less snow on the ground. I'll trust it this time just because there's less snow on the ground. And we are here. All right. <clears throat> Good job. Turns off. 
So that was it. Uh, FSD version 12. Dot two, oh, excuse me, 13. Excuse me, 13.2.6. Dot dot um, wow. I'm gonna, so I'm going to say is wow. The, the, the rate and pace of change is incredible. So for this drive, in terms of confidence, in, cur- in terms of decision making, in terms of comfort and safety, I get high marks across the board. High marks across the board for everything. Made all the right decisions. Had me at a great level of comfort. I'm sitting here talking, running my mouth about the earnings call, not even paying attention to the drive because it was so good. Um, you know, safety, super safe all across the board. All right, and then confidence. It exuded lots of confidence, especially in the speed bumps. So to be able to fix those speed bumps in this situation is great. Now, granted, I know the caveat is that they're not as in the same conditions that they were when I first tested, covered with salt, sun shining with the shadows on it. So we will test again. But just for now, just being able to recognize those speed bumps, especially that last one where the sign, the markings are halfway covered um, is incredible. And to do it both ways. Right. So that's 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 that in itself warrants high marks across the board for this one. So in this one, I'm going to give it because it did so well. I'm going to give it a four point five high Uber black on this one. Four point five. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this drive. Let me know what you thought about this build in general. Just as a note. This is early access, um, even though it doesn't say it here anymore. This is early access. This is not something that's going out to the masses just yet. This is getting validated in different waves of early access. Then it goes out to the masses. When I post things and say, hey, I'm getting this build, it's not to brag and throw it in anyone's face. Super grateful, humble to be able to be a part of this group for 10 years now. Um, But it's just to let you guys know what's coming. Give you guys a preview. Give you guys a heads up. If you're on version 13, here's what's coming. If you love what you have already in 13.2, you're going to love this even better once it gets there. Obviously, 13.2.5 wasn't great. 13.2.4 for some people or for the different vehicles that got it may not be as good. But this 13.2.6 seems to be uh, fixing and addressing and fine tuning some of the things that were there. So I just put that out there to say that uh, humbled and grateful, uh, but also just trying to give you guys a preview, not trying to rub it in anyone's face or, you know, make you feel odd because you haven't had an update in a while. You know, just pay attention. Stay vigilant. It'll get to you. And when it gets to you, it's going to be much better than the version that you have already. All right. So until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.